guys this is Katie with the channel weather spazify and right now I am outside by another tree in a parking lot <laughs> trying to get uh, grounded and back in tune with nature um, it's been a little bit of a crazy day but not too bad um, somebody just said something inside of Whole Foods when I went in there to make a little purchase uh, when I was at the register um, I asked the woman how she was doing I said how's your day going and she was like um, I'm here and she said it as simply as that, I'm here. And I commended her because I really like how she was just honest and the way that she expressed herself was just fully in the present moment. Basically, um, non-judgmentally observing herself being present but not having to get emotionally entwined into a conversation. And it reminded me of some skills that I learned on how to be mindful and mindfulness. And then that led me to this book that I happen to keep in my car that's called Present Not Perfect. And it says, a journal for slowing down, letting go, and loving who you are. This is by Amy Chase. And it's funny because one of my best friends from college uh, is named Amy and spelled just like this, A-I-M-E-E. -E. And, um, I don't know, it's really cool. I came across this book like a few weeks ago at Barnes & Noble and um, this isn't a promo or anything. It's just something that um, the universe kind of spoke to me about and I wanted to share this with you all because this is a great little book. It's got pictures, illustrations, and little like two-minute exercises you can do to just help yourself go from a place of analytical crazy thought and ah, panic to like getting yourself just to whoosh, calm down and just chill out and mellow out from the day. And um, the back of the book caught my eye today in particular. It says, the creative cure for the perfectionist in all of us. And that really caught my attention because um, perfectionism is something that I've struggled with for most of my life, starting with grade school, going into college, graduate school, and the working world, and just life in general. And this book reminded me that all of us, I think, in some way, shape, or form, strive for some form of perfectionism. Um, and it can take place in many different ways in our lives. So the important message to take away from this is that um, it's okay to give yourself permission to take a load off and just relax and take a few deep breaths. Take yourself out of that to-do list, out of that checklist, out of all of those obligations and responsibilities for just five minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, hell, even an hour or two hours a day, because you are worthy of time to unwind. You are worthy of watching the sunset, as you can see behind me. You are worthy to get outside and to re-experience nature, to touch a tree, to remember why we're here and the planet that we're on, as opposed to this boxy 3D matrix that can often distract all of us if we're not careful. Notice how nature has all these beautiful flaws. Everything moves in different shapes, sizes, and forms. There's bendy, curvy things in trees. There's all these different designs in trees. Anything that's natural from the earth is basically, in my opinion, flawless. But we have been conditioned to believe that anything outside 3D geometry or 3D geometric shapes are flawed if they're not perfectly symmetrical, but that's not true. There is plenty of symmetry in nature, but on top of the symmetry, we've got pure, perfect little curves and loops and shapes that basically help us to see patterns and help us to see the connection between us as humans, our DNA, the shape of our DNA, and trees themselves. As you know, DNA is a double helix spiral staircase. In my opinion, that is more beautiful and sacred than any box rectangle or cube. See how rigid and limiting and confined those types of shapes are as opposed to these open, beautiful, expansive trees. These trees reach up into all different directions and have infinite potentialities or they represent infinity. And the sun, look how it expands outwardly and the energy just emanates in all directions. I'm going to try to zoom in on that. Looks like I can't zoom in. But anyways, um, the point is that I'm trying to make is that today I was really, really stressed. 
Um, I, I, I think all of us experience stress on a daily basis. And as soon as I got my butt outside for more than a minute to just take a few deep breaths, be present at the cash register, listen to the woman that I met today and that the universe corresponded me to. The universe aligned me with that woman who said, I am here when I asked her how she was to teach me a lesson, to teach me that it is okay to be honest with people, but not be too honest. I don't need to tell them my whole life story, whether or not I'm good or bad or doing well or not doing so well. I can just be. And it's so freeing and it's so cool. Like, I know it sounds so simple and bizarre that I'm saying this, but it really was a refreshing reminder of just how simple life is when we are living in the present, but also on the flip side, how complicated we as humans can make things in this life if we are too far back in the past, reminiscing and not playing the tape all the way through, just partially through, and therefore thinking, oh, all these good times I miss, some of them might have been good times, but there were also lessons in a lot of those good times and things that needed to happen to get us to where we are today. And really all that matters is today because this is all we can currently work with and amplify or expand on so that we can grow in consciousness and expand fluidly, outwardly, go with the flow and hope the best and make the best for our future. We can't predict the future 100%. We can estimate what may happen or what we may potentially see, but because there are infinite potentialities, that is why we must refocus and recenter ourselves daily into the present moment, kind of reflect throughout the day what we did today that we really are proud of of ourselves and things that we would like to improve on, but to non-judgmentally observe, not to judge ourselves too harshly because none of us are, are perfect. And if we were perfect, we wouldn't be much fun and that would be no reason to be here on earth we'd be done we are all here for a reason we all have slight little beautiful flaws so that we can show those flaws flaunt those flaws and teach others how those flaws have helped make us unique and shape our world into a more beautiful one and this is all just kind of channeling through and i thought i'd share it and one more time just focus on the sun behind me it is beautiful to remind you of the beautiful energy available to us all and the beautiful nature available to us all and the infinite potential that we all have no matter what may be happening in our external reality and one more thing that I remembered and that is everything in our external reality around us to some degree or extent has some indication or reflects something going on inside of us. Our external reality oftentimes has little imprints of things going on within us internally. As within, so without, as without, so within, that kind of thing. And uh, that was just coming through, so I wanted to share that. I want to thank you all for your likes, comments, and subscribes, and shares, and positive feedback, and the collaboration. You all have been wonderful. I am so blessed to get to know all of you fellow YouTubers out there, people who are new to YouTube, and um, I'm really grateful for your guys' support. And I hope that you have a wonderful um, rest of the day, wherever you are. And if you liked the uh, concept, ideas, or the philosophy behind this video, give it a thumbs up. And I just want to say that you're beautiful and I love you if nobody told you I love you today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Peace, love, and light from me to you. Bye.